Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. Coach, uh, one of the best defensive games that we've seen all year. Certainly uh, talk about the effort today and, and just in the red zone, it wasn't quite there. Well, we played defense like we've played all year. Great. And uh, made a big play. Uh, Blake returns one for a pick six, and, uh, and we're in the ball game. Uh, very tough place to play. Uh, you got 19,000 in this place, and they're rocking. And uh, all that being said, I, I, I thought we handled it pretty well. Um, we had opportunities. We had two quality drives um, that end with ball on the ground. And you, you can't do that, not against the number one team in the nation at their place. Um, we had our chance at the end, and uh, they, they make a play, defensive play, on a fourth and four, and uh, the, uh, the, the play stopped the drive, and then uh, one of those things, we had it back with less than a minute to go, and uh, we did our best to try to, try to get down the field, but uh, proud of our guys, uh, every one of them poured their heart and soul into this one. Uh, the, the week of preparation was really good, and uh, and we came up to win the game. Uh, a lot of times you you'll see scores that uh, that are just completely one-sided, or both teams score 100 or something like that. But this was uh, an old-school football game. Uh, philosophically, they're like us. They they want to try to control the pace by running the football and taking it right at you. And uh, very proud of the way uh, that our defense prepared. Coach Woody and the staff did a great job getting our guys ready, and uh, and they responded. He he called a great game and uh, and gave us a chance to win. And uh, if we'd done a little bit better offensively, uh, we may have had that uh, that shot to do it. We we had the shot at the end. If we would have scored, we were going for two, and and I think our defense could have uh, could have held them. But uh, it was a. Uh, Great challenge. Uh, we were just a little bit off and, and didn't get it done. Uh, can't say enough about the group of seniors that, that we've had. Uh, just phenomenal young men, uh, some great football players for us, and, uh, and guys that we're definitely going to miss. And I know you're going to miss them all, but Eric Breitenstein again with a great day, over 100 yeah. yards, and in a lot of ways kept you in it. And yeah. Yeah. you're going to miss him a lot. Well, that, there's no doubt we, when you have a great back like him. I mean, uh, he he's helped us along the way in many games. He set the table for us in many ways, and uh, he, no different than today. It, it really doesn't matter who he plays against. Uh, I think he's going to get his his yards and. Uh, they, they had a good scheme, but uh, just like the one long play that, that he broke, uh, we had run that play several times, and it had been three yards, four yards, three yards, four yards, and all of a sudden, everybody got on the proper pad. He makes the, the cuts that he makes, and uh, we, we had a big play with the opportunity. So uh, i like to have had one more score and, uh, and try that two-point play we had, but uh, not – we're going home. Uh, it was a great year with a great group of kids, and you can't ask for any better. All right, Eric, hard fought. This this was a bang em up ball game. How physical was it? As physical as it looked? Yeah, it was pretty physical. Um, there was a couple times I got came down. The guys came down and popped me pretty good, um, but. That's part of football, you know. I mean, that happens from time to time. Uh, they're good defense, but turning the ball over, that just can't happen um, when you're playing a team that good. So, uh, you know, hopefully, this is my last time, but hopefully the guys next year can uh, come back, work really hard, and take that next step. Uh, what we wanted to do this year just didn't, weren't able to complete. When do you think it'll dawn on you that you had a pretty darn good career? Um, I mean, I'm conscious of it now. Uh, I know I worked really hard and some good things happened, but I couldn't have done any of it without without the scheme first off. The coaching staff's amazing. They give me every, every opportunity, really. And then the guys I play with. I mean, my offensive line is best in the country. Uh, four out of five Southern Conference or all Southern Conference players should have been five out of five. <laughs> And uh, you know, and then I have some guys in the backfield with me that are just really special. Brad Nosick, uh, Donovan Johnson, Brian Yeoman, and then there's some young guys that you know are going to be really special down the line too. Um, but 
we all worked hard. Uh, I think our senior class did a great job, but it just wasn't enough in the end. Uh, we really we had a goal this year, um, two goals this year. We accomplished one of them, Southern Conference champs, but I wanted that big ring. I wanted to be a national champion, so it's disappointing. What does it mean to you that your offensive linemen get to go to Philly with you for the uh, Walter Payton ceremony? That's going to be really special. I'm actually going to ride up there with them. I changed my plans a little bit. I was going to fly up there, but uh, how can you turn around or turn down? Uh, I think it's six or seven guys, and uh, they're all we're all cramming in a van and heading up there. So I couldn't turn it down. So it'll be a, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, uh, no matter what happens, I'm really proud of the honor, and uh, I'm glad I get to share it with those guys. Hope the van has a one-ton payload. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it did better. Eric, thank you for all you've done for the college. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. James, you come in the ball game midstream today. You've got the atmosphere. The place is rocking. What was it like to come on in with that kind of environment? Yeah, you can't ask for a better place to play than this. I mean, even being the away team, that was, that was a fun place to play. The crowd was awesome. They were involved. Um, it was really hard to hear. Um, you know, it was a little bit different in South Carolina there. The, the space is open. The sound kind of gets out. But here, it's just everything's packed in on top of you. And it, was, it was really loud, but it was a fun place to play. A couple of cracks in the red zone late with a chance to tie it or even go ahead with a two-point conversion. What was that like getting in there and, and having that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, that's a boost to, to everybody when you get down there. Um, we got two drives inside the 20 in the fourth quarter, um, and it'd be nice to come away with some points. Um, our defense did a great job all day of holding them and giving us that opportunity to, to keep us in the game until late, and we got we to gotta capitalize on those opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, it's been quite a season for you. You come in as the third string quarterback, a walk on. Next thing you know, you're starting at a place like South Carolina. Can you even put into words what this season has meant to you? Yeah, it's, it's been a great, great season, uh, personally, just for the opportunity that I've had to play here. Um, and that's, when I came here, that's all I wanted was an opportunity. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. A lot of great guys that have encouraged me along the way. Uh, a lot of teammates that have been awesome to play with. Um, Eric, especially, has just been very encouraging for me. Um, it's been it's been a, lot, a fun, fun year. Um, hopefully, we can come back and do it again next year. Mike, it was a, a rock'em sock'em affair. The defense, again, have a, a very strong performance. What was their offense like, and how were you guys able to contain it? Uh, you know, they were just smash mouth football, really. Just power game, uh, just a lot of two backs, two tight ends, just uh, just running down the middle, you know, type. But uh, they got a little bit of us on the first drive, and then we, we did a pretty good job containing them here there. But, uh, I mean, they're a great team. They're number one for a reason. When you think back at what you've done here in, in your five years, the team has been to the playoffs four times. Does that mean, is that meaningful to you? Yeah, it's meaningful, but you know, it's still, I feel like we came up short, you know. I feel like this was the team that was gonna win the big championship. I felt like we had the best team I've ever been on, and uh, it's just disappointing. So the Terriers close their season with a record of nine and four. It ends today here in Fargo at the Dome with a 14 to seven loss in the national quarterfinals. Eric Breitenstein again, yet another 100 plus yard performance to finish out an amazing career. Now the Terriers look ahead to the off season and next year when they open up at Florida State in September. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision all season long.